Hello guys, this is Sharun here from 24/7 Techie and in this video I will be showing you guys how to install Android Lollipop on Xiaomi Mi 3. Yes guys, the Mi 3 that was sold in India by Flipkart um, in July last year. So I will be showing you a step by step process on how to install Android Lollipop on uh, Xiaomi Mi 3. That, guys, this is not a MIUI based ROM. This is based on actually CM 12.1 and the Lollipop version that will it will be based on will be Android 5.1.1. For doing that we need to download all the zip files that are present in the description below. There would be three zips. One would be custom recovery. One would be Moki zip, the, fla the flashing zip and the third will be the gaps folder, uh, the Google apps. So we will uh, download all those and put them in a folder in the Xiaomi Mi 3 storage and then uh, go to the updater app in the Mi 3, choose update package and in this we will uh, select the uh, folder that we have copied it in. So I, I made a ROM folder this. So as you can see we have all the three in this. So we will first uh, install the recovery in the phone. So guys as you can see the update has been finished now it will be now it is prompting as uh, reboot now we will be clicking on this and rebooting the system when the system gets on i will be back So guys we are back uh, into the system and now we will go back into now we have to reboot into the recovery. There are two methods of rebooting into recovery. One is power switching off the phone and holding the power button and the power up button together till the phone has been switched on and then it will boot into recovery and the and the second method is we will uh, go into the updater app. This is actually the easy method to do it and only Xiaomi gives this method and go into updater app and reboot to recovery mode so guys we have booted into the recovery and we will always select uh, system 1 because that's the system that we are using uh, we can use system 2 to install more ROMs but as it's only a 16 GB model and uh, the internal storage is very less so the moment you install a second zip into system 2 the phone starts to uh, lag, lag a lot I've tried that and it's not really very good at that so we will select system 1 and go and do remember guys to make a backup guys backup is very important while we are flashing new ROMs uh, I've uh, I've made the mistake of not backing up my data and uh, lost uh, quite a lot of data once, so I have never failed to make a backup after the after that day. So do remember to make a backup. I've already made a backup, so after making the backup, we will go into the wipe data and do wipe uh, all user data.
So guys, after a long time, the uh, factory reset has been finished. Yes guys, the custom recovery that we are using is very slow. And But this is the only custom recovery for MI3 that works good. So yes, it is slow but it does the work. So after doing the factory reset, we will go into the install zip folder and choose zip from SD card because there is no option of external SD card and zero for the internal memory and then go to the folder that we have selected if we have put uh, our files in that's ROM for me and select the MK51.1 this is the Moki ROM 5.1.1 Android so we'll select this and yes to flash it and the flash process has started and it will take some time because this uh, custom recovery is a bit slow so do be patient So guys we are done with the installation of the uh, Moki ROM so we will go into the zip folder again zero for the internal storage and go into that folder again to flash the gaps package I have selected the smallest package because I only need the Google Play services I can install the rest later on so as the gaps has been uh, installed we will go back and reboot system now guys there is a very big uh, thing to notice over here is uh, when we do reboot system now we have to do no to each and every option in this so no for this no for this and that's done sometimes there will be three options sometimes there will be only two options as you guys could see so we have to do no to each and every option So guys as you can see we have booted up into the Android uh, 5.1.1 on Moki ROM and it's showing Android is something in Chinese actually it's Android is upgrading and it's just showing Chinese for the starting the moment it detects India it will go to Hindi and then we can change it to English or anything that we like so don't panic if it's showing Chinese that uh, the ROM is in Chinese and you try to delete it or restore your backup. Uh, just wait for a minute, let the upgrading finish and then you can change it. So don't worry and don't get panic. So guys as you can see the moment it detected India it uh, went to Hindi it went to Hindi but we don't uh, we wouldn't like to have Hindi in this what the hell maybe it's just trying to start all the apps uh, together that's why it's lagging I will set this up and come back to you again. So guys, uh, it was just uh, trying to start all the apps uh, together. So I waited for a minute and now it's uh, working all fine. Uh, as we expect from the MI3 with the Snapdragon 800. So now I will do the setup. Skip everything so that we can get into the ROM and check it out. So as we have installed the gaps folder, it's uh, showing that Google is supported. As you can see guys, uh, one update is available. Actually I, do I downloaded this zip file a day ago. So the nightly has been updated and 
they have found out that uh, so as you can see everything is working good the play store is there so and the ride gesture is also the work supported so going to android 5.1.1 the Easter egg is also present. Android 5.1.1 MI3W. W is for the CDM, for the GSM version Snapdragon variant. So this is really working great. I have been using this ROM for a while now because I have already made a, a video before also. And uh, yeah, I have been using this as a daily driver. As you can see, we can customize the display modes also, and color calibration also can also be done. So we can change the temperature. We can even choose everything is available on this. The themes are supported. The sign engine themes are also supported in this. Sorry. So the lollipop uh, guests are also supported. We can rename this and remove the Chinese name and enter our name. We can also add a guest. Smart controls. These are just for the dialer and the MMS. I don't really like it. The notification manager also. And lock screen buttons. Guys, the buttons cannot be... Uh, like the buttons cannot be turned into the on-screen button you cannot disable the lock uh, hardware buttons because uh, this uh, this feature is only available on phones which are larger than 5 inch so like if you have it uh, 5.2 inch to 5.7 inch on the um, note series so this is not supported on the 5 inch phones I recently installed this same uh, ROM on the Redmi 1S and it was also not supported on that. So guys, as you can see, we can customize everything and each and everything. And uh, everything is supported. It is it is actually stock Android on steroids. What, an, what people call an engine, stock Android on steroids. So yes guys, do install this uh, zip it is actually worth it this is much better much uh, customizable than the MIUI and the camera is also working and the resolution which we have is 13.1 and it's supporting 4k HD video recording so that's really good front camera it's uh, HD video and as you can see guys everything is going good in this ROM and there will be nightly update on the ROM also in the Moki Center as you can see there's a update available for 18 MB only so really good you must try it out guys if you are having a MI3 same exact model the MI3W the Snapdragon variant do check it out because what better than the Android 5.1.1 on a Snapdragon 800 guys it's working really great and thank you guys for watching this video uh, I hope to see you guys again and do hit the like button if you like the video hit the dislike button if you didn't like the video but do leave a comment of what you didn't like Feedback, feedbacks are always welcomed and hit the subscribe button to stay, stay tuned and the subscribe button also helps the channel so guys please subscribe thanks a lot for watching this video i will be back soon thank you